Alrighty guys, it is the Def King here, back with a brand new video, and I'm um, sorry it's been like two weeks since I've uploaded. Um, I want to upload more, but um, but I'm on Thanksgiving break now, so that's good. Alright, anyways, so welcome back, and um, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you about Game Passes. Alright, so Game Passes. What are Game Passes? Okay, so if you guys don't know what Game Passes are, which you, which you should, but they're basically things where, okay, they're basically things or like kind of like products that you can buy and then you can use those game passes to actually implement new stuff into your game so for example you can have like a two times xp game pass so that way if someone buys it every time they, they get xp they get two times xp all right it's pretty self-explanatory um but i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make those and then in the next tutorial i'm gonna teach you about dev products which are pretty similar but except you can buy them as much as you want so yeah they're both very useful and obviously they're very good to know because that lets you monetize your game and make money from it so that's probably you know pretty important anyways um so first things first go ahead and go on roblox studio now you can use one of your old games or any game um but for this example i'm going to make a new base plate just to make it clear so if you have a new game or if you have a game already just click on it um and go ahead and open it up now um, first things first, we need to actually have a place to upload our game pass to. So we need to actually publish this game to Roblox. So if you already have the game published, you don't have to do this, but go ahead and if you don't, if you okay, okay, if you don't and you have a base plate like I do, then just hit file and then publish to Roblox. And then we're gonna hit create new right here. Um, okay, and then we're gonna name it game pass tutorial you can name whatever you want but that's what i'm gonna name it to keep it clear and then we're gonna go ahead and hit just hit create place there we go um cool all right now we're gonna hit next and now our game is on roblox all right so the next step we need to actually go to roblox web, let's go to the roblox website so go ahead and go to your browser whatever browser you have and then go ahead and go to roblox.com okay and then go ahead and hit create right here and then it's going to bring you to this page all right, so now that you have, on, now that you're on this page, you can see all your games. Go ahead and hit my creations, and then hit games. And then, as you can see, let me refresh real quick so I can show you. Um, my game is right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on this. All right, and then I'm going to go down here, and it says create game pass. Okay, now if you have a game already, find your game, and then just hit create game pass. All right, so then hit create game pass. There we go. And then now we're gonna actually make our game pass. So this is where you make your game pass. Um, and as you can see here, it says target game, game pass tutorial. And then you have to upload an image for your game pass and then you have to name it and then you put a description for it. So um, that should be right already. So change this to game pass if it's not already. Um, and then you, as you can see here, it says game pass name. For this game pass, I'm gonna make a simple, simple game pass. It's, it's gonna give you a sword, okay? So we're gonna name it give sword. There we go. And then we're gonna just put a description. This game pass, game, oh my, game pass gives you a sword. Boom, all right, cool. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit preview. And, oh, we have to select an image file, my bad. All right, make sure you um, um, select an image file, right, um, right here. So find your image, I already have it pulled up. I'm gonna use this little emoji thing, I don't know why, but just find any image you want, make sure it's family friendly so Roblox approves it, um, and then you just go ahead and click on this right there. Okay, and you have to rename it again, so we'll name it give sword. There we go, and then we're gonna hit preview, and then it's going to go ahead and prompt us here uh, if everything looks good, and I, the formatting's a bit wrong for some reason, some reason it's like a little, like a it goes like a diagonal line i don't know why it's like that but that looks good so we're gonna go ahead and hit verify upload and there we go now our, there's our game pass right there all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and click on my game pass and this way i can get the game pass id all right so go ahead and go up here and double click on this little number or if you have to select it like that and then right click and then hit copy this is our game pass id and we're going to need this to check if our game pass is is you know if check if just to check our game pass okay so go ahead and copy that over and then we're going to go ahead and go back to roblox studio oh there we go all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and insert a local script yeah okay yeah we're going to insert a local script to prompt it and then we'll set it up so where it actually does something all right so first things first let's go ahead and make the local script uh here we go uh, -uh. We're gonna rename it to um, prompt game pass. You don't have to rename it if you don't want to. I just like to name my scripts. 
um, and then we're going to go ahead and start scripting. All right, so first things first, when you use a game pass, you're using the service called Marketplace Service, okay? So we're going to go ahead and define this service, which is called Marketplace Service, okay? And we're going to go ahead and do market, local Marketplace Service equal to game, colon get service, Marketplace Service, there we go. And then we're going to go ahead and type our game pass name in. Okay, so this is important. Go ahead and do local game pass ID is equal to, and then paste your game pass ID. So you can right click and hit paste or press control V. Um, this is important because we need to have our game pass ID, obviously, and that way we can uh, use it. All right, cool. All right, so next we're going to go ahead and do a, we're, we're going to write a function that's going to prompt the game pass. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and name this function local function um, prompt purchase. Okay, there we go. All right, now this function is basically going to it's going to let us prompt a game pass. All right, so how you do that? How you actually get that little screen up? You know where it says, oh, do you want to buy this game pass? Blah blah blah, and then you can hit buy now or cancel. You know you've probably seen it before. Um, how you do that is you use this function of marketplace service called user owns game pass actually wait no sorry 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 um use a function called prompt game pass purchase okay and then you put two parameters in here which is first the player and then the player you want to prompt it to and then the game pass id okay now um obviously um there's more to it than just this this is how you prompt it but we need to actually you know like make sure it prompts right i, I don't know how to explain that um but uh, we, we need we need we need we need to add some more to it, okay? Um, so first things first, we want to actually check. Um, you don't have to do this, right? But I, I when I, when I make a game pass, I check first if the player has the game pass, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and define our player. We're gonna do local player is equal to game dot players dot local player, and then we're gonna do local has pass, like has game pass is equal to false, just because we know right now that they don't have it. And then we're also gonna wrap this function in a p call. Um, actually, no, wait, no, no, no. For, for, okay, sorry. To check it, we're going to wrap that in a P call. So we're going to go ahead and do local success is comma message equals P call function. Uh, there you go. And then we're going to do has pass is equal to. Okay, now this is another function of marketplace service, which basically checks if the user owns the game pass. Okay, now if you don't know what this P call means yet, just, just wait a second, I'll tell you. Um, so we're gonna do local success comma message equals P call function, and then it has pass equals marketplace service, user owns pass, game pass async, player dot user ID, um, and then game pass ID. Okay, so what this function does, uh, I'll explain this whole thing for you real quick. Um, so what this is, the P call, first of all, if you don't know what that is, you, you should if you watched my last tutorial, but basically a P call, basically what it is, is it's a function, or uh, yeah, I guess it's a function, that basically you can wrap other things in, so like we wrapped this, right, or in the P call, or we put this in the P call, okay, we wrapped, wrapped yeah. Um, so basically what it does is if there's an error, then it doesn't break the whole script. That's what it does, simply, okay? Um, so I know it looks might look weird. You've never seen like local success comma message equals P call. It might look weird at first, but don't worry. And then for this part, um, we're gonna go ahead and set has pass, okay? So this function, or this, this variable here that's called has pass, which is currently equal to false, we're gonna set that equal to marketplace service and then a function, a built-in function by Roblox that's that says that calls or that that's called user owns game pass async, and then the two parameters are player dot user ID, so the ID of the player, right? And so you don't just do player name because the ID never changes. You do player dot user ID, and then you do the game pass ID. So which one do you want to check, right? So basically, Roblox will check which one it is, and then we set it equal to the variable has pass because it's going to return true or false okay so um, if we print has pass and we have it it's going to be true and if we print if we print has pass and they don't have it it's going to be false okay so basically that's what that does all right hope that makes sense all right next we're going to go ahead and do if not success then um warn um uh, error while checking if player has the game pass okay so basically you don't you don't have to do this but warn also if you don't know what warn is uh, it's basically like printing but it's like in yellow text that's what that's what it is basically um 
and then you can just go ahead and that's it. All right, now you don't have to do this part right here. This is just this is just useful if you're like debugging or something like that, right? And um, basically, if this function doesn't work or this function doesn't even oh sorry, if this doesn't work, right? Then it, it's gonna it's gonna print or it's gonna be this local success will equal false. Okay, so it really, if it says if not success, then okay. All right, anyways, we don't need that right now. Sorry if that confused you, but we don't need that. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do if has pass. So we're gonna be like, okay, if the, if the player has the game pass, well then print player already has the game pass. Okay, because there's no point in printing or there's no point in like prompting the player if they already have the game pass. You get know what I'm saying? So next, we're gonna go ahead and do else, right? So if 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 has pass is equal to false, okay. And that's what else does, right? Um, we we could do um, if has pass equal to true, but basically that's the same thing as that that's the same, that's the same thing as saying if has pass, okay? Um, but we'll, we'll make it true for now, just make it simple. And then else, um, and then we're gonna do that marketplace service prompt game pass purchase, and then we're gonna what player do you want to prompt? Well, the player in the local script, and then we're gonna do game pass ID. There we go. So now we're gonna go ahead and copy this function name, and we're gonna call the function um, just down here. Okay. Now, obviously, maybe you wanted to call it if the player like touched a brick or something like that. Which actually, we can do that. Um, let's go ahead and make a part here, and we're gonna call it um, cool part. Or no, we'll call it like uh, game pass zone. Like you know, some games have a zone, like a VIP area. That's that's what it'll be. So we're gonna do. Um, Actually, I'm not sure if you should do a touch in a local script, but um, yeah, never, never mind. You, you get the point, though. Okay, we'll, we'll worry about that later because you might have to use an remote event for that if you want to make it work right. So just keep, just know that this function base right here, it's gonna prompt you, and that's gonna be the one that says, "Oh, buy now or cancel," and do you want to buy this game pass or whatever? You know what I'm saying? Um, anyways, all right. So now we have that. Uh, we'll put a wait in here just to let it wait, but we'll go ahead and test it real quick. Um, and actually. Okay, 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 I'll, I'll just print it. Alright, so let's go ahead and play it real quick. I put that weight in there, so here we go. And what's going to happen is after one second, it's going to print, player already has the game pass. Now, I know I never bought the game pass, but I uploaded the game pass. So by default, I'm going to have it. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to I'm gonna make it, I'm going to copy this part right here. I'm going to make it actually prompt me, even though I don't have the game pass. Alright, I know I don't have it, but I'm going to make it prompt me either way. So here we go. And now we're gonna go ahead and see it's when it prompts you to already have it. It's just gonna say this. It's gonna say you already own this item. Your your account has not been charged. Okay, that's what happens. Um, so yeah. All right, now I'll delete that out of there. Okay, and now we want to make sure when you get the game pass and when you buy it, it actually does something, right? Um, so we're gonna go ahead and insert a server script. Okay, in here, and we're gonna call it uh, game pass. Oh crap! I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it game pass handler. All right, you don't have to name it if you don't want to, but I like to name my scripts. Um, okay. All right, so first things first, we're going to have to um, define the marketplace service. I'm going to copy it over because I, I, I like to save time. And then we're going to get the game pass ID again, so we're going to copy that over as well. And then we're going to go ahead and use this function of marketplace service called prompt game pass purchase finished. Okay, so this may not look, may not make sense at first. Bear with me. It will. Trust me. Um, I'll explain it once I write it. Okay, so here we go. So first things first, we're gonna write this uh, event. Okay, so the event's called marketplace service dot prompt game pass purchase finished. Okay, now that, I know it's a really long name for an event, right? But basically, it, it makes sense. So explanatory, right? It means prompt game pass purchase finished. Okay, so whenever like a, a game pass prompt pops up and it finishes, either they hit cancel or buy now, that means it's finished. And every time that happens, it's gonna call this event and then you'll be able to write to it or you'll, you'll be able to do whatever you want, right? So it's gonna fire this event off right now. So every time that happens, okay? I hope that makes sense. Um, all right, so yeah, we have that there and now there's also some parameters, you, there also, there's also some parameters you wanna put in there. Um, first things first, you wanna put the player, obviously you wanna know what player bought it. And then you want to do the purchase pass ID. So what game pass did they purchase, right? And then we're going to name, we're going to put another parameter in here called purchase six, uh, purchase success. Okay. So if it was a success, all right. Um, there we go. 
Now, whenever this event runs, it's gonna go ahead and give you all these variables, or it's gonna have all these parameters in here, which you can use to write more code, okay? All right, so we're gonna do if purchase success equals true, right? So if, if it was true, that's good, but we wanna make sure they purchase the right game pass, right? So we wanna do if purchase success equals true, and I know you may you may have never seen and before. I don't, I don't know if I explained it or not, but basically and is like it's just like an if statement, but you make sure this statement is true, right? And you make sure that this statement is true. Now the statement we're gonna put here is um, if the purchase I or the purchase pass ID is equal to the game pass ID. Okay, so it's just making sure but that both of these statements are true. All right, and that makes sense, right? You want to make sure they've actually bought it and went successful, and then you want to make sure that that, that um, you want to make sure that the, the game pass ID is equal to the purchase pass ID. So, so what game pass do we want to fire? You know what I'm saying? Um, and then we make sure it's equal to that. All right, so then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just print. Um, we're gonna, we'll do player uh, dot name, and then we're gonna concatenate a string real quick, and we're gonna say um, purchase. Uh, the give sword game pass okay because we know it's the give sword game pass all right and then that's it there you go so now when we buy this that's what that's what's gonna happen so watch this and actually um, we're not gonna be able to okay look so if you see this right here right we're gonna go ahead and actually try to buy this right now right but it's not gonna pop up obviously because we didn't call the function in the local script so what we're gonna do since we already have it we're gonna go ahead and start a new server Okay, so go ahead and go over to test right here, and then one player, and then we're gonna hit start. And now this basically makes a local server for you, so you can actually like, like um, test something. It, it makes an entire server for you, right? All right, so now this is the server window, right? And you can see, look, see, I have another. This is the player window right here. Um, so you'll see me spawn in. See, I just spawned in and fell out of the sky. And then you see here, this is the player. Okay, and oh, wait a minute, it just. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Um, okay, okay. Wait, wait. <laughs> we need to restart. Right? Go back to um game pass tutorial and then clean up. Hit clean up. That's gonna close everything out you out for you. Um, the reason why it said that is because I need to wait longer. Here, we'll we'll make this wait five just so we can let it load, um, or just so that we see it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do that again. Go ahead and hit start, and then it's gonna open up the windows for you again. So there you go. This will be my server, so I can see everything that happens. If you guys never used it before, so this is what it is. And then it's gonna open up my actual client right here. And here we go. Okay, so now I'll wait five seconds, and then it should prompt me. Okay, now it says this item is not currently for sale. Your account has not been charged. And oopsie, I made a mistake. You're right, this item is not currently for sale. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to Roblox, or the website real quick. Uh, sorry about that. All right, so I actually made an oopsie, okay? I forgot to actually make it for sale. Um, I didn't set a price for it, so how is someone gonna buy it if it's not for, if there's no price? So go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and go back to your Game Pass, all right? And then go ahead and hit Configure, or right click and then hit Configure, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and actually make it make it cost something, all right? Um, and then as you can see here, it says this, um, and then hit Go to Details. And then, wait a minute, it's not working. What? Wait a minute, where, where's it at? I, I forgot. Um, okay, if you, you have to find a place where it says, okay, yeah, yeah, sales. Okay, sorry about that. All right, go to sales, and then item for sale, and then you click yes, or click a little, like the on button, and it will sell for 50 Robux. Now, don't worry, you don't have to actually buy it um, whenever you're running it in here. It's just, it's just gonna say as a test purchase. All right, so there we go. We'll make it 50, or however much you want. You can make it 500 million, who cares, right? Um, we'll make it 50, all right? And we'll hit save, and there we go. Now it's for sale. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and go back to here, hit clean up again, and we'll hit test one more time. Now we're not done after this. Actually, we have one more step, which I'll show you, but here we go. Um, okay, okay. This is the server, and then here's our client. And then once that loads, we have to wait five seconds, and then it's going to prompt us. Um, okay. Do you want to buy the product Give Sword for 50 Robux? Buy now. And then it says, your purchase of Give Sword succeeded. 50 Robux. This was a test purchase. It was just a test. You don't get charged. It doesn't cost anything. And then you hit OK. 
And then what happens is you see that it printed down there because the event went off and it said player one print purchased the give sword game pass and my name in here is player one because it's a testing server so there you go now um i actually didn't add the function where you actually get the sword so i'll do that real quick um let me go ahead and go from the toolbox i don't really like using free models but obviously this is just for learning so <laughs> um we'll go ahead and go to sword um uh, and then we'll insert roblox's basic sword in here and we're, we're gonna hit i hit yes to put it in the starter pack but don't put it in there when you get your sword put it um in like rep storage i guess and there we go and then let me go ahead and actually, um, sorry, it's, I'm sorry if you can't see that, but that's what it says. Uh, let me go ahead and actually define local. Uh, let me go ahead and define replicated storage and then get the sword defined as well so I can give it to myself. So local game get service replicated storage. And then we're going to do local sword is equal to replicated storage. Wait for child classic sword. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do... Um, sword um, dot parent is equal to player dot character there you go that should work now so now we're we'll going to test it one more time to make sure it works and it should all right guys so we actually have one more feature we will, what we need to do actually is program to make it actually like make it so whenever you join the game and you already have the game pass bought make it so you actually like run the game pass then so I'll show you what I mean in a second if that made, if that made no sense uh, so here we go. It should work. And do you want to buy it? Yes, I want to buy it. Give it to me, please. Thank you. There we go. I got my sword. Yay. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Also, guys, if you're watching this for a tutorial and um, you are a Dev King fan, um, first off, let me say I appreciate you so much. Thank you for supporting my videos. Um, and I'm glad this teaches you something seriously. Like, I wouldn't do it if you guys weren't watching. Um, but, yeah. Okay. Um, also, what I was going to say, though, um, if you guys don't know, I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I have another YouTube channel. Um, this isn't my main channel. I have 100,000 subscribers on my other channel, and I'm actually a video star program, or I'm in the video star program. So I have a code called Code Tap. Um, whenever you buy Robux, you can use it. So if you guys want to use Code Tap whenever you buy Robux, um, I'll show you where you can where you can use it. Um, if you go to Robux over here, okay, and then you hit the, um, you hit like some buy Robux thing right here. And then you go down here, and then it says, you see, have a code to support your favorite Roblox video star. Click here, and just type tap. That's that's my my main my main YouTube channel name is Tap Water, but um, just to make it simple, I use tap. Um, so yeah, and, um, that does support me. So if you guys want to do that, it gives me like five percent of the money that you've spent. You don't lose any Robux. You get all your Robux. Don't worry. You just get I get five percent of the money. So that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that, I appreciate you guys use that. It's pretty cool. And um, yeah, just, I mean that's a way to pay me back, I guess. All right. Anyways, also one quick thing before I start, before I continue the video, um, if you guys don't know, actually, um, uh, this channel, like the Dev King channel, has actually recently hit the requirements for monetization, so I'll actually have ads soon. So, um, sorry, but um, <laughs> I don't know. I probably won't make much money, honestly, just because of the low amount of views I get. But I mean, still, it's kind of cool, I guess. Um, just the fact that it got monetized in general. Um, but. Don't worry, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm not, like, broke. You don't need to, like, give me money or anything. But uh, if you do want to use the code, that's pretty cool. Um, but, uh, yeah. Also, um, actually, that's it. All right, cool. All right, so let's go ahead and keep going on the tutorial. We have one more thing to mention, and then we'll be finished. Okay, so the next thing we have to mention is the... Bum, bum, bum. We want to make it so the, the player actually gets their sword when they join the game. Let's say the player already has the game pass, right? Let's say the player... They left the game, they come back, and they have the game pass. Okay, good, awesome, you, got our, you bought our game pass. But it's not going to give them the sword, right? Because look, if I hit play, I have the game pass because I uploaded it, right? But if I hit play right now, I don't have the sword because I don't have it. And that's because we give the sword whenever that event goes off. And obviously, if you already, if you already have the game pass, you're not going to be prompted that event again. So, yeah, unless you were to be prompted it, and then you hit OK, and then it would check. But still, you don't want that to happen every time just to, just to get your sword. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add another script, or you can do it in the script. Either one doesn't matter, but I'll make another script just to keep it simple. And we'll call it um, check game pass, and then we're going to go ahead and write that. All right, so what we're going to do for this is go ahead and define marketplace service again. Here we go. And actually, we'll just copy the, all of this stuff because we're going to need that. Uh, oh, crap. Copy all that stuff. And then we're going to copy the Game Pass ID as well. 
and then there we go. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do game dot players dot player added. So every single player joins the server. Um, this this event will run. You know, you guys use this event all the time, I'm sure, for like leaders leader stats and stuff like that. Um, so we're gonna do local has pass by default is equal to false. We're gonna just check, and then we're gonna use that same event, remember, that same uh, function we used in the in this to prompt the purchase. We're gonna check if it has that. So I'm I'm, I'm just gonna paste it over. I'm gonna copy and paste it over. So I'll just copy that. And then I'll hit paste right there. And we already used this event. I explained it already. But basically, like I said, it's just going to check if I have the game pass, right, by doing player.player .player ID. Um, and then we're going to do if has pass is equal to true. Then, uh, actually, I'll just write that. We'll do if has pass is equal to true. Then print um, player has the give sword game pass and then we're gonna do um we're gonna make the sword dot parents equal the player dot character that's how you equip a sword if you guys didn't know you make it so you make it equal to the player dot character all right there we go that should work um and then we're gonna go ahead and see if it works and wait a minute d d that, that didn't work what the heck um Print player already has the wait 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 wait. Oh okay wait okay hey, let me hit play again sorry I don't know why that didn't work one sec. Player has the give sword game pass okay so then it should be sword wait wait I made a mistake sword dot parent is equal to player dot character. Wait I'm confused why doesn't that work? What wait 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 wait. <laughs> Um, okay, wait, it, it should work, right? I mean, we just did it, but just for the other thing. So it's it's saying we have it, and then it should be setting this, the parent of the sword equal to the game pass, or equal to, so it moves it, and or, and then it does put this, no, it doesn't put the sword in there at all. Oh, 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 oh. Um, we'll just set it to player.backpack. All right, well. Okay, okay, well, actually, we're going to define the character up here. We'll do local, um, yeah, yeah, actually, you can't, I don't think you can do player dot, dot character in a, um, in a, um, sorry. Oh, I can't think, in a, in a server script, that's why. All right, so we'll do, um, local charge equal to game dot workspace dot get player, wait a minute, get character. There's a, there was a function, I forgot the name of the function I haven't used it in a while. Uh, we'll just do this, we'll do... Local char is equal to game dot workspace dot find first child uh, player dot name. All right, now that should work. Uh, char dot. Okay, there we go. All right, wait. Let me test this. Make sure it works. If you, if you don't write that, if you don't want to, but let me make sure it works first. Oh, I know what it is. The player isn't loaded yet. Here, let's wait one second before we run this. Um, just let the player load in, or the character load in, sorry. Um, oh, okay, I, I'm really stupid. Okay, yeah, don't wait one second, because the event's going to run, and then it's not going to fire because I was on a wait. So put the wait inside of the event. Okay, come on, now. There we go, finally. Okay, so yeah, you couldn't do player.character um, in, a, in a server script. All right, so basically... Um, I have a sword now, and basically I didn't have to actually buy it, and because I already had the game pass, it worked already. So that's cool. Um, so what, what you want to do is make it wait a second, right? Because you want to make sure the character can load. Now, what you normally do to make it wait is you actually do um, like repeat until um, until repeat wait, um, and then you can do like until why do I forget the syntax of everything guys seriously I forget the syntax of everything it, it used a repeat um, a repeat loop but I forgot the syntax for it so I'm just not gonna write it anyways guys that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed the video I'm sorry it was so long but I do like to go in depth with my videos and explain very very good so I, I wanted to make them shorter I'm really sorry they're so long seriously it's a problem but um, I hope I explained everything well for you guys seriously like this is like I, I feel like if you've never even scripted before you could probably still understand this tutorial. So that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.
Peace. Um, dev. Oh yeah, use code tap and also um, dev products coming next. All right, peace.